everybody welcome to another exciting installment of wrestling rampage that's right we are back with another video this is wrestling rampage don't forget to like us on facebook facebook.com slash wrestling rampage to follow us on twitter at wrestle rampage hit that subscribe button we got more videos coming sorry to cut you off i'm tommy and i'm joey <laughs> so make sure you guys do that but with that being said uh, we are at the end. This is the last. This is the last of 2003. That's right. Armageddon 2003. This is the DVD review for you guys. And if you guys did not watch Survivor Series, what be year? sure to watch that yeah, yeah, make, yeah, make sure you watch that. And Tommy, our next year is going to be with the votes of, of the Wrestling Rampage fans. 2006. 2006. We're going to be doing... Uh, the DVD reviews for 2006 pay per view. So make sure 2006 you is next. Oh, That's God. right. Uh, Tom is really looking for looking forward at WrestleMania 22. Oh yeah, Mark Henry and Undertaker can't wait. <laughs> can't wait. <laughs> okay, before I start laughing my ass off already, here we go. Armageddon 2003 DVD review. This uh, Armageddon took place on December 14, 2003. It is a Raw brand exclusive pay per view sponsored. By Final Fantasy X2, which is Final Fantasy X2. Um, for a lot of you fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy players out there. Uh, it, at, it was at the TD Waterhouse Center in Orlando, Florida. Uh, the heat match was Rico versus a new up-and-comer, John Heidenreich. The match sucked. The match was short. The, the, the match was completely short and it sucked ass. What was like two or three minutes? Yeah. That Rico hits him with a neck breaker. Hits Iron Rag with a neck breaker. One, two, three. That's it. In one, no, literally one of the worst neck breakers ever. Like yeah. I swear to God, Spike Dudley could have kicked out of this fucking neck breaker. It was terrible. But Rico ends up beating Heidenreich. First <laughs> match on the card. There's, <coughs> there's something I want to mention here. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. The apron is WWE Entertainment, folks. Right yes. Now. Yes. Uh, from ahead. from Heat. Yeah. Uh, then we got m the first match on the card is Mark Henry versus Booker T. Now this actually stemmed from the Survivor Series yes. match where uh, Booker, Booker T, T got eliminated in, by Mark Henry. And Mark Henry's been coming out and attacking Booker T. Yes. Raw after Raw after Raw, and now they're going to have this match at Armageddon. And I mean, I wouldn't say it was a bad bad match. It but was an it, okay. I mean, it wasn't that great. You know, uh, Booker T hits two, hits the scissors kick, and beats Mark Henry. Uh, yeah. So I mean, I'm I'm, I'm glad Booker T won. Though, yeah, me too. Mark Henry doesn't, doesn't deserve a damn thing. Now, <clears throat> Tommy, this is where they change. Uh, yeah, this is where they changed the apron. All right, the apron was WWE Entertainment, and then they changed it to the Armageddon apron. Yes. During this segment, which during is this segment, Mick Foley. Uh, who is the uh, uh, general manager? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he, he was brought in to be a consultant or yeah. whatever for Raw, <clears throat> and uh, he ended up make, making himself general manager or co-general manager with Eric Bischoff. Uh, Mick Foley and Stacey Keebler come out and celebrate uh, the one million signatures to bring Stone Cold Steve Austin back to Raw, yes. uh, which obviously did not really. Um, matter really because yeah. uh, 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 they needed something to put the Armageddon apron on. <laughs> yeah because yeah, they couldn't know while, while the match was going on <clears throat> but we get we get a really good match uh, when well well, actually Randy Orton came out and interrupted Mick yep and saying I killed Stone Cold Steve Austin he's gone yeah he's gone I was the one I pinned Shawn Michaels he's gone I, I, he's gone and uh, uh, pretty much you know Blah, blah blah, but we get honestly. Th this was a great damn match. Yes, it was, and it was for the WWE Intercontinental Championship when the champion Rob Van Dam takes on Randy Orton. And the special mm -hmm. referee is Mick Foley. And the special referee is Mick Foley. This was a great Intercontinental Title match. In his fucking dress shirt yep. with the fucking stripes on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this was a great match. Rob Van Dam, Randy Orton put on a great match. Fucking. Randy Orton hits the RKO on uh, on uh, Rob Van Dam and get him Rob and Rob, and Mick Foley County Fair one two three mm -hmm. and the new Intercontinental Champion is Randy Orton. Randall Orton. 
Then we get uh, a match I wasn't too proud of and a match that I didn't really uh, want to watch because, you know, I don't really agree with these type of matches. But we get Eric Bischoff's oh, battle. This match I don't <laughs> give a fuck about. Uh, Eric Bischoff's Battle of the Sexes when Trish Stratus and Lita take on Chris Jericho and Christian. And if you guys remember... Uh, the fucking one dollar bet. Yeah. Like, who one dollar Canadian, Who, who could get in whose pants? Christian and Lita or Jericho and Trish. The match sucked. Yeah. Uh, I didn't give a fuck. I think I was mainly on my phone while this match was going on. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't that much of a great match, it, yes. It, it was terrible. Yeah, something uh, about, yeah, the, they had the bet. Uh, Christian Canel Lita before... Uh, Jericho, Jericho Canel, Canel Trish, Trish, and it was for a Canadian dollar. Yeah, uh, and you which know, is like, Canadian dollar won't get you much. <laughs> uh, which you know, in America, that's probably like, you know, like seventy cents. So, uh, pretty much, uh, Trish Stratus her overheard them talking about it, and and they got upset, and and now they have this match, and yeah. uh, it was it wasn't that great. No, uh, Christian rolls up Trish one two three. And that's the end of this match. Uh, and w which leads on to Jericho kind of not celebrating or anything. Yeah. And he's just like looking at Trish and yeah. kind of walks away. Yeah, like what Jim Ross said, like he <laughs> fucking cares. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, like he cares. But, uh, yeah, yeah, Christian rolls up Trish. So the ba the winner of the Battle of the Sexes, Chris Jericho and Christian. Yep, Christian and Chris Jericho. <clears throat> then we get a match between Batista. Charles Reed Fowler's favorite Batista. Yep. Charles Reed Fowler's favorite Batista takes on Shawn Michaels, my favorite. And well, now, now, now this stemmed off Survivor Series uh, when Shawn was the last, uh, the yeah, last where on, Batista cost him the match, where he cost him the match with Orton, and uh, uh, for Stone Cold to be gone. And of course, I was going for Shawn Michaels. Of course, I, I was, fuck Batista. I was going for Shawn. I'm too. sorry, Charles. He's <laughs> never any good. <laughs> He's never been good and never will be good. <laughs> Batista, I'll go for anyone over Batista any fucking day, okay? Hold on, why don't you go Roman Reigns over Batista? Roman Reigns. <laughs> oh, God, I'd, I'd go with Batista. <clears throat> That's pretty no. sad. I hate Batista, but I hate Roman Reigns too, but, but you know, but... Well, I had to choose. Well, Lee, uh, well, you know, th this match, uh, you know, uh, Batista was going for the Batista bomb. Sean, Sean counters. Sean counters. Sweet chin music on Batista. Beats him one, two, three. Yes. Uh, so, so sorry, Charles. He didn't get the Duke. Yeah, sorry, Charles. My favorite Sean Michaels pulled out the victory. And then we get a match between Maven and Matt Hardy. Well, who gives a fuck about this match? Uh, oh, yeah, Charles Reed, we have Matt Hardy. You have Matt Hardy even in this half. Uh, but and fuck this match. Too. But but Batista was out there yeah. walking around, pissed yeah, off, pissed off because he lost because he lost to Shawn Michaels, rightfully so. And he and then, and then fucking Matt Hardy and maybe fight outside the ring, and then Matt Hardy being a prick and coward he is because he's a pussy. Throws fucking Matt Har Maven in the ring and fucking Batista, Batista, Batista fucking bombs. Batista bombs him, and and then fucking Batista now leaves and. And then uh, Matt Hardy comes in, Cup makes his own count, thinking he won the World Series. Come on, you beat me. You didn't beat him much. <laughs> you see the way he, uh, he, did, he did this like shitty splash yeah. on him? And, come on, and come on, three. Matt. You really didn't beat no one. You didn't beat no one in really good, to be honest with you. No, no. And no. Uh, so that's the end of that. But, but, but it's funny, like, after after, after he pinned him and, and he done the ring, he goes, and the winner of the match is V1 um, I remember Jim Ross, what the hell is V1? Yeah, he goes, what the hell is V1? <laughs> but but the winner of the match is Matt Hardy, V1 die. Fuck Matt Hardy. Which the match really didn't really really take place. But we get a uh, match with his uh, a tag team turmoil match. For, For the, the World, world tag, tag Team, team Championship. Titles, yes, the World Tag Team Championships. Uh, the champions at this time is the Dudley Boys, uh, and we uh, the first to start out is La Resistance, uh, which is uh, Rene Dupree and Rob Conway, Conway. Uh, versus Rosie and the Hurricane. Yep, the <clears throat> Hurricane and Rosie, and uh, the Hurricane and Rosie did a uh, double team. Rosie came on the middle rope, fucking uh, the Hurricane jumps off his shoulders, yeah. pins Rob Conway, and they're eliminated. 
they're gone. And then we get uh, Mark Jindrak and Garrison Cade. Yes, they come and out. And then uh, they, well, come, they come out from behind. They come back from behind and uh, rolls up the hurricane. And of course, the hurricane ain't gonna ain't gonna lose. He's gonna lose. Uh, the hurricane and Rosie are gone. Uh, then we get an unlikely duo, in my opinion. Yep. Of Val Venus and Lance Storm. Yeah, Val Venus and Lance Storm. Of course, they get eliminated too. By Jinder and Kate. Yes. Can't remember how, but uh. Well, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, they're all. eliminated. And so. then we get the champs, of the Dudley. And then boys. we get the champs, of the Dudley boys, and, and then they they 3D Mark Jindrak. One, two, three. Then we get the then, last team. And then we get the last team. Weak ass Scott Steiner <laughs> and Test. <laughs> yeah, I like how you put that. Weak ass Scott Steiner and Test. <laughs> and uh, Bubba did the Bubba bomb on a Which test. is funny because they, they had a few. Yeah, they going, had a few all these years, but now they're tag team. <laughs> yeah, they had a few uh, all through 2003, but now they're a tag team. And uh, Bubba did the Bubba bomb on Test. Devon rolls him up. One, two, three. But Eric Bischoff Eric comes Bischoff out. Eric comes out and said, wait a minute, I said you got to beat all the teams. And then here comes here comes uh, Ric Flair and Charles Reed Fowler's favorite son, Batista. <laughs> uh, in short fashion. In short fashion. Ric Flair Batista, has Devon. Yep. No, Ric no, Flair, no, Bubba. Rick Flair has Bubba in the no, figure four. Figure four. Devon fucking gets Batista bomb doing a little shaky there. <laughs> With his and legs. then one, two, three. And yes. then Batista and Flair are the world tag team champions. So, if you guys don't notice, Randy Orton is the Intercontinental Champion, and Batista and Ric Flair are the Tag Team Champions. Now, in the main event, could Triple H pull it out? We'll find out. But we get a uh, an added match. And an a, added a, match. And that's what they said on the yeah, added YouTube. match. Added match, which is the WWE Women's Championship, when the champion Molly, Holly, takes on Ivory. Yes. Uh, wasn't a very good match, because Ivory... <laughs> Um, but, uh, Ivory, uh, tried to roll up, and then Molly reversed it, and pulls the tights, one, two, three, and beats Ivory. Short match, too. Short match. Uh, but Molly is still the WWE Women's Champion. Then we get the main event of the evening, and the main event of 2003. Yes. When, uh, we have a triple threat match. For the World Heavyweight Championship, Kane versus Triple H. Versus Goldberg. And Goldberg is the champion at this time. Uh, and uh, uh, what was funny was when Goldberg came out, he pushed the door and the door came back and hit him. Yeah. Uh, I'm, this triple threat match to me wasn't that good. Uh, to me. Uh, it, it didn't really impress me all that much. It, and uh, it wasn't that good, but uh, Kane chokeslam Goldberg and then Batista grabs fucking Kane and Triple H pins Goldberg, and, and of course Triple H wins the World Heavyweight title. No shock there. No surprise uh, there. And of course all Evolution has all the titles on Raw. No surprise too. Uh, what? Well, don't get me wrong. I love Evolution, but there you shouldn't have all the belts. Yeah. But uh, but you know at the end you have you have Orton with As, the title with, with the, the Intercontinental, Intercontinental. Randy Orton with the Intercontinental Championship. Ric Flair and Batista with the World Tag Team Championship. And Triple H with the World Heavyweight Championship. And they're all holding up. Pay for you goes black. That's the end of 2003. That's the end of 2003 and the end of Armageddon. That's right. Uh, and we're going to be doing 2006 next, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. We're going to be doing the DVD review, pay per view, retrospective of 2006, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestlingrampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. Hit that subscribe button to one of the greatest wrestling YouTube channels going today, Wrestling Rampage. Tommy, take us out. If you don't subscribe right here to Wrestling Rampage, then I guess you just don't know wrestling.